Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm going to be showing you around this Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R. Now this is a second generation ZX-10, though the purists among you will probably argue differently. There was of course uh, the ZX-10 in the 80s uh, and early 90s, but this is a ZX-10R and so I would say that this is a second gen. Uh, powered by 998cc inline 4 that produces depending on which website you look at over 170 horsepower it's a it's a proper proper riders machine and a real weapon this is a late registered 2007 so the very last of this shape where they gave it the black wheels rather than the uh, the goldy brown wheels um, which i think looks a lot better this is an exceptional bike it's covered just over 10,000 miles which is all verified uh, via HP and all the MOT certificates and condition wise it's absolutely superb you know for its age and what it is um, it's absolutely brilliant so uh, I'll try and do it justice as we go <clears throat> so lightweight wheels uh, fairly typical Kawasaki uh, wavy discs that you'd expect on pretty much anything now and Michelin Pilot Power 2CT tyres which look pretty much brand new uh, four pot Nissan brakes, obviously no ABS and no rider aids with these bikes, which is one of the reasons why I like them so much. Uh, fully adjustable suspension and this particular bike has been fitted with braided lines as well, which is an absolute must on any sports bike. Uh, you can clearly see that the, uh, the header pipes have been changed. There is an aftermarket exhaust system on here and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a minute. Uh, body work wise, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and say it's a 7 or an 8 out of 10 for its age. Obviously, you will find some age related marks, stone chips, that sort of thing. But considering its age, um, it's done really, really well. It's a credit to the previous owners. There's a couple of nice little touches added to the bike. The RNG crush protectors uh, on the uh, body there, the aftermarket ASV levers, not cheap Chinese ones, but fully adjustable ASV levers, which I really like. And the addition of a black screen. Uh, just finishes off the bike as i come round, you'll notice that there is an adjustable olin steering dampener that is one thing that the bike did need it's quite light compared to more modern super bikes and quite flighty so um so that's a nice modification you've got the tank grippers as well uh, again you know quite subtle and understated but uh but there to serve a purpose <laughs> As I come towards the back, you'll see that it's fitted with an aftermarket tail tidy and a full Remus exhaust system, which has been set up on a power commander. So the bike runs and rides beautifully, as you would expect. Really, really clean at the back end. Again, a nearly new rear tire on there, which I believe is a Michelin Pilot Power 2CT. Um, and the back end, all the brakes and everything like that are in good condition. The bike comes with a pillion pegs, but it doesn't come with a pillion seat, unfortunately. But there are a few of those on eBay for not a lot of money. So if your intention is to take a pillion, that might be something you want to look into. Riding position wise, it's exactly as you would expect. You do sit quite deep in the tank, which is one of the things I like about this. And it is physically a slightly larger bike on the front fairing. So for, for most normal people, um, you know, it's good to have that additional wind protection. As I come around this side, it's pretty much the same, to be honest. Again, very clean and tidy. No major marks or scratches, dings or dents. You've got the aftermarket RNGs on there. Uh, no quick shifter fitted. Um, chain sprockets, brakes, all that stuff gets inspected during PDI. But um, this is such a clean bike, I really don't expect to find anything major. There's a couple of little marks just here on the pillion pegs. Just a little bit of surface corrosion. I think they're alley, so. Uh, that'll be in the alloy nothing major but obviously worth pointing out bike is fitted with uh, a tank protector and it does come with all three key keys which is two black uh, and one red which is the code key dash on these is funny fully analog but you get like this floating sensation from the uh, the center digital part uh, you get speed you get mileage obviously you can see 10,578 temperature and rev counter really that's all you need I'm a bit of a purist when it comes to sports bikes and um, you know these were one of the last proper riders machines in my opinion sounds and rides really really nicely as you would expect this bike's going to come with the service manual and owner's manuals. As I said, it will come with three keys. It will come with a three month warranty, free delivery within England and Wales. Um, if you live in Scotland, we do deliver to Scotland for a small charge. We can offer finance and part exchange as well. So if those are things that you're interested in, or if you've got any general questions, please feel free to reach out. We've got WhatsApp, live chat, all the social medias. Pick up the phone and ask us any questions that you've got, or feel free to drop in and try the bike on for size. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.